Johnny Crusher Khan here and today I am playing Ark Survival Evolved. Now in this episode I'll be showing you our plans for the future and our base expansion. Now if you just come over here as you probably noticed in the last video it is quite cramped in here. Now we only have this short little space along here and a little bit of room up here but that's not going to be enough to fit any larger dinosaurs that we're going to need to get in the future to keep advancing so we've decided to move forward and make a very large base expansion now if I just come up here as you would see we're trying to build a bit of a castle sort of design now it's a little bit wonky and it moves around a little bit because like we're not exactly building on a flat land and the hill kind of carves in and then like goes out so it's actually a little hard to do but we've decided that we're going to go with this sort of shape now to build this sort of a wall or to build this sort of outer like castle wall we need three different materials to build the walls over here the foundations to hold the walls up and then later on we will be getting ceilings on top of the walls so you can actually get on top of the castle wall so the three, the three resources we need are I'll just type up stone wall or just stone so the three resources we need is stone wood and thatch now to get those resources, we need these two dinosaurs here. Not the trying on over there, by the way. We need the Calico Theorem for getting the thatch. And he also helps out the wood as well. And then we use this Dodocris over here for getting stone. Now, instead of explaining what you do, I'll just hop on them and show you. So... I'll take both of them with me, I'll hop on the calico. I'll get the dodic to follow me. We'll just come out of the gate over here. Now just wait for him to catch up because they're a little slow. So just come out the gate. I'll just make sure I close it because we don't want any dinosaurs coming in. Sorry about the lag by the way, it's very laggy right now. So I'll just hop on here. And then if we just come over here, for the Calico Theorem, which I'm riding right now, you come up to these trees, or any trees really, and you just whack it with left click or, or you can use right click as well. Or not right click because that's the ball to go. That one. But you can use, I think it's C? Yeah, the C attack. So left click is this one, the normal slash. Or you can also use the C, which, sort of bit, which is sort of a bit of a bite. So, and just from cutting a couple of those trees down. Oops, wrong button. I've already got quite a bit of thatch, so. He's pretty good at getting thatch and he does get a little bit of wood but he, but usually for wood we just hop off of him, get our axes out, chop the tree down and then we just come back and hop back on. Man this leg is terrible. Now it's the same sort of thing for the dodic, you just hop on, hop on this guy over here and you can do it on these stone rocks. So you hop on this dude, and you just have to poo, of course, and then you go over to these rocks, you can right click is to roll, which gets you around faster, and you just left click to smash the rocks down. So, I'll keep farming, and I'll come back when we have a little bit of resources, so I can build some walls, or maybe even some ceilings. Alright, and we're back. So now, 
I had to make a couple of changes to my settings because it wasn't running very well and as you probably would have seen it was quite laggy but I've, I've hopefully fix, fixed it now and let's get straight on in into the building so first what you want to do to be able to build the stone walls is you got to come in here to engram points so every time you level up you get some engram points and some things cost a certain level so when you first spawn in and you get engram points you're not going to be able to unlock something at level 90 you have to be that required level to actually use it but I've already got the walls unlocked which are down here so they're in the middle sort of area so prob you've probably unlocked them around level 30 about that sort of area so maybe in the 20s as well I'm not too sure because I've I'm already past that stage so I'll just take some stone out of here so I'll take about that much and then I'll build some walls so in the next video I'll show you a bit of the ceilings but for now I'll just keep on doing the walls so we'll basically try and make as many as we can to get the base done oh, I've already got a spare ceiling so we'll bring this over here to where I'm building at the moment so we've done the whole front already we're just working on the side and the back at the moment so snap it will automatically snap on so you get like this the wall and if you've already got a foundation place it will automatically snap to the foundation like there I don't need it there and if you've got walls obviously it will snap to that as well so it's pretty handy when it snaps automatically as well so, so that's pretty nice to have um, if you're wondering how high I'm making it, I'm trying to make it five high, because that should stop some some larger dinosaurs from coming in and attacking us. So I can't place one here because I don't have a foundation. I was thinking about just doing a ramp, but I might have to like see if I can place a doorway there later. But for now, I'll just keep going on with this bit. So place one here. Oops. That's why you gotta try not to do it so fast because it will automatically destroy it if you place it on top of one that you, there's already one there. So, what do I need more of? So, I'll come into my inventory. This is the, all your items the armor, stats over here. And that's your hotbar. So, I'll come in here, wool, and then I need more wood. You can also just do it like this, you press the number that it's assigned to, so stone walls, I need stone wooden thatch, but right now I just need wood. I'll get some more thatch because it doesn't weigh very much. Get some more stone too. Oh, I'm too heavy now. I made a, a bit of a mistake on keeping up the calico. I should have tried to put it in the box, but this is as far as that out as I could take him so I'll build some more walls and it's basically just the same thing over and over you get resources the way I showed you and then you now another thing that I forgot to tell you is that you don't have to use these two dinosaurs you don't have to use the dodecris and the calico you can a better wood and thatch collector is the beaver but we don't we can't we don't currently own one so we can't really use it if we don't have one so for now we're just using the calico and the dodic looks like zapdos is going to hop on the dodic and get some more stone i'll just come around here place another wall place so you probably get the drift it's basically just you keep making walls around and then once you've got the whole outer wall done you do the ceilings and then by the next episode I'll be showing you how we make it defended because sure this is a wall we can put the dinosaurs in but if something breaks the wall they'll just come in and eat it so we need some things 
something called Species X and normal mechanical turrets as well. So I need more stone, come into the box. Yeah, so I'll be back once we've got the side of the wall done. Alright, I'm back and I decided rather than just getting so the side of the wall done, I decided to get almost the whole wall done. So, as you can see we've started working on a tower over here. We haven't done Species X all the way around, but mainly what I wanted to show you guys was inside the wall. So, so you start off here, I'll put my torch on, you can go straight all the way through here. It does end where the gate is though. And once you've gone all the way along there, you can come out here. Come around the gate. And then where's the door? Over here. So then you have all of this along here, which you can use. And then if you keep going along here, the wall comes along all the way over here. So we've got ceilings on it as well. But the one thing that I haven't finished yet is, like I said earlier, the Species X on top. So keep going along, windows along the way. Just keep running, running through. And then it stops over here. So, that's the wall. And, it took a while to make and it took quite a bit of work. But, I reckon it'll definitely be worth it. So, we've got up top here, railings along the side so you don't fall off. And then we've got all the way along the front and starting along the side we have the Species X in large crop plots. And then up the back here, this is just the one small little bit that I haven't got done yet. So just along here this bit along here. So yeah, that's pretty much the wall. If you like the video, please do leave a like, and if you've got any feedback, put it down in the comments below. And I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye!